Five people were shot in this case, and one of those victims, we're told, has died. Fox Detroit, 55 dead, 12 murdered, over four days. That's twice as bad as Chicago. The media don't tell you that. They just blast death into your kitchen and move on to the next blood puddle. Remember the crack house this past weekend? Six shot, one dead on the lawn? It's still open for business. It's morning right now. That's when the shooting happened on Saturday in the morning. Do you feel safe? We lost people. You lost people. Do you feel safe now? Or, I mean, I, I see people are back in the home. Sir, First you're of all, is this a drug haven? Do you're you a threat. Agree? And I'm allowed to do anything I want to do to somebody who's threatening, especially me. Okay, so so please get the fuck on my Courtney and her baby live right next door to the crack house. I have an issue with it because right where they enter and exit is where my daughter's room is. Them bullets could have went anywhere. So I have a problem. Meanwhile, back at the crack house. So basically you you you, you're living in the situation and dealing with the time that's just going and it's a house is owned by somebody, not the city, but it is a drug haven of use where folks come, chill, and do their thing. Um, if you could, will you relocate after this? Basically, I, I wish we could, basically, sir. Basically. But it's just a, this area right here is what we all know. This is what we know. What's your name? My name is, um, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, okay. back at the neighbor's right, well, house. Thank you for your time. Have y'all y'all been calling about this this drug house here? Yeah. How long? Uh, years. Yeah, years. Wait, wait. Say, so you saying the the spot? Four years. I own this home. And in the four years you've been here, this spot has been here. Yeah. Have how many times would you say in the last four years have you called the police? Give you a ballpark number on that. Have the police ever came around here to check the scene and get it in order? They would come over, put them out, and... Meanwhile, it. down the road they at the police the precinct, they, they say they don't know they shit. Back. Hey, how you doing? Detroit Red with NBN News. I was coming to ask some questions about the Saratoga incident. And um, y'all, you know, apparently know it's a drug haven over there, but yet it's still going. People back in there now. What the, What's the plans for that? Um, I have no idea. I can, let me see if I can get somebody to talk to you, okay? I appreciate that. Thank you. Right now, you'll probably have to get in contact with media relations and then go from there. Well, you know, I tried to contact them at least two days ago, and they just don't seem to get back. Just, just right quick, off the record. Is it a man shortage issue? Why is it that they, they're able to still thrive in the city knows and the police know that it's a drug spot and then six people done been shot i, I wasn't here I, like I, I don't know to be honest okay thank you for your time appreciate you appreciate y'all it's a goddamn shame six shot one dead on the line and the crack house is still in business if you want to stop crime you start by shutting down the crack houses in the neighborhoods that's just policing 101 with Zach Rowe, I'm comedian Detroit Red, NBN News. And that's the truth. Big tech doesn't like it. Big political parties don't like it. But if you like it, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified. Remember, you can't sleep. Watch the news. You want the news? No BS News Hour.